In this video we're going to learn how to machine a part in two operations. So effectively you're going to machine the top of this part and then turn it over and machine the bottom of the part. Which, you know, you've got a complete job there. So it is possible, as I say, to break this down into two operations, but I'll show you anyway. So uh, I'm going to put my datum in the middle to start with. Now I have done another video that shows you how to create another work plane but I'm going to just do that anyway on this video before we start. So we're going to need, um, we're going to need a work plane for the top when we machine the top and we're also going to need a work plane for the bottom. So I'm clicking work plane, create work plane. I'm going to call my work plane op2 and it's going to be with reference to the bottom datum. So I'm going to refer back to the bottom datum and I'm going to click the origin so I'm going to tell it where this datum actually is. So I'm going to OK that and then I'm not going to um, do X and Y I'm just going to do Z. So if I type Z I'm pressing my Z key and it comes up like that OK and now it's only asking me for the Z axis. So I'm going to pick something down there which is then created that datum down there. So now I've got my op2 datum and then I've got my top datum which is like my op1 datum. What I'll do then is just quickly add some stock to this part. So I'm just going to face mill the top because it's just for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to do loads of work on this. Um, so uh, Let's just put um, left side, right side, nothing, front side, back side. So top, we'll put uh, one mil, and then on the bottom, we'll have one mil, and OK that. So we've got a bit of stock each end just to face mill off. And then I'm going to um, go to my fixture database, and I'll just add a voice to this. So I'll pick one of these standard voices something like um, a Kurt that looks nice select that and then I'll create a machining process I'm just going to use this sample vertical mill millimeters there and it's picked the top datum which is fine so I'll OK all that lot that's all ready and then what I'm going to do is, um, first of all, I'm going to go over to my machining, pick up a tool, face mill for example. So I'm going to drag out something like a, I don't know, let's get that 63 face mill, select that. We'll put in tool 1 there and OK that. So we've got that. And then we're going to say um, face mill. Comes up with face mill up. All this is all right. Seventy percent. Probably go eighty percent. Step over. Um, feed rate of eight hundred. Speed eight thousand. Yeah, I'm not bothered about that at the moment. Depth. I'm going to say uh, clearance of three. I'm going to say level one. And then I'm going to go down minus one. I'm not going to put a cut increment. That would be an absolute fine and then click that then it says what do I want to machine and I'm just going to click this outside of the stock so by double clicking that gives me that square area okay and I've got I've got my face milling um, I think we need to put a bit of lead on that let's just put a bit of lead in there so we've got a lead in put a length of uh, say uh, 30, 32 um, and I've got equal lead moves yeah that's better so that's my face milling let's quickly run that through and just see what that looks like on the simulator step through that there we go face mill face mill lovely that's all done and then we're going to move to tool change so we'll say move tool 
move to tool change there okay that that's done that can't see that can you let's just move that over there yeah so that's my face mill now what I'm going to do this first stop if I double click on this um, well allegedly yeah there it comes up with a sequence name I'm going to call that op1 and you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute so that's called op1 and then I'm going to create a new sequence create a new sequence same machine next and this is op2 but what I'm going to do now is pick my op2 datum there and ok ok that and just sit and watch the magic happen and that's turned that upside down ready for me to do my uh, next op so um, then this is my next stop um, if I click on if I double click this it will switch back to that op so I can run either one double click like that excuse my massive mouse pointer but I changed it I thought it was a good idea at the time but it's pretty shit really but so I'm going to call this uh, op 2 okay and that's that one so that's my op 2 and then what I'm going to do now easily just copy this across you can just uh, so I'm clicking there holding my shift key and I've got all of that um, and the one that's like sort of greyed out is the one that I'm not using but I can still copy from it I'm going to hold down my control key and drag that down to this second op okay which is effectively copied the first op into the second op, just delete that because I've got that in twice update fixtures and that's actually done that for my second op so I could go through and uh, I could go through this and click on everything and redo it all again um, but that's actually um, going to be the same uh, because I've left one mil on that op so now I've got two operations now just watch what happens when I switch to my um, I'm going to switch to my simulation mode and now you see I've got an op 1 and an op 2 so I can take this one here and add it across there but I don't, I don't want op 2 before op 1 so just click on that and this arrow will just arch that up so now I've got op 1 op 2 if you didn't transfer that one over then you it would just simulate the one op but now it's going to simulate both so I'm going to go OK and then magically my simulation screen will come up come on take your time and there it is um, and if I switch this step this through you'll see what happens so it comes up just shift that over there a bit slow this down run that there and that's sorry it's gone off the screen a bit that and that I'm going to stop that and then I'll just step it through now it's switched to the second op and then now it's face milling Hang on. face milling the second op which is great so that's how it works and you actually got two two operations so you got a complete program that you've done um, op one an op two just this is a bit rubbish isn't it uh, there so if we just rewind that and then you step it that's your first op and then it's picked up sequence two so you've got sequence one there and sequence two and it runs through the whole lot so that's how you do it brilliant if you find this video useful or you want to watch more stuff that I put out uh, then uh, like and share it and click on the bell so that you get notifications of uh, all the videos that I'm putting on here so uh, thanks for watching